Bob Green here, Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. I'm looking around our sample 10, Bullburn, from 1986, uh, produced by John Hutchison. And uh, we're starting off with this sort of collision trail here. And uh, we can go in and have a look around on this sample at some close-ups. So whether this was the initial energy release or break up and then you can see the spots with the rings around them spots with the rings around them creating these cavities spots with the rings around them bigger spot with a ring around them uh, and then even bigger and then what looks like a, a big cube with spheres around it uh, I think this is a really lovely feature and you can learn a lot from this particular feature. So I'm going to zoom out so you can see the overview there. Uh -huh. and I'll just pull the focus up and down. Focus up and down. Now, there may be a very large sphere in that. Sometimes the spheres are of some clear material, so you can't really see them when you're up close because the, the light just goes through it. But yes, it would appear there is something there. And then, it's very nice and clear, this one here. See that there. Get it in shot. There we go. Lovely. Sphere with your ring of spheres around it. And then down this last little bit here. But there's lots and lots and lots to see on this sample. Uh, this may be part of the same run. Again, if you look at these pits, they all have their black spheres in them that we've become so accustomed to with looking at various samples from Lion and from Echo and these historical samples. To bear in mind, this is <laughs> 32 years old, uh, so these spheres don't like to dislodge themselves. They are very much part of the material uh, <clears throat> that has been affected. So I'm coming near the big holes. So there you go. There's a, several black things surrounded by more features. There's a, one of our mini kind of teardrop shapes. trailing off there. It's very, very rich pickings, this particular sample. So then we got a, a smaller spot in the middle with the ring around it. Here we've got some sort of spinning structures central spot with three spots around them and they themselves have spots around them very rich pickings I'm gonna look forward to what people find with this simple tool and replications of lion it's just going to be so wonderful what a what a chance to discover something in your own experiments here's the uh, yin and yang as I call them you have the big hole and the exactly the same shaped neighboring uh, sort of change to the structure of the material so you can see the straight sort of a brushed steel look that it's affected and it's cut a hole out there and here you can see this kind of it's a diamond pattern uh, you can see this very clearly on the SEMs uh, but it's even clearer here and you can see on the perimeters at nodes you might like to call them there are our friendly spheres 
there they are again. But all the way in that structure, you have spheres in their craters. This is not contamination. This is not contamination. I don't know how to put this. This is not contamination. And they are a different element to the surrounding material. Very, very structured. And it's been created by this process. It's such an honor to be able to have the opportunity to look at these samples. It's a joy. It's an absolute joy. And I want more people in the world to have the joy of this kind of discovery in their own samples that they will be able to make by following the Lion Protocol and variants thereof. Very rich. It's a lovely little sphere in its own little world there. Again, it's kind of building that teardrop shape. This might be a... This is probably some clear spherical crystal that's formed here. Spherical thing, whatever it is. So you're actually seeing the refraction through it, the stuff underneath, but it's surrounded by black so-called spheres. It's just lovely, just lovely. Wow. <laughs> oh dear. Another sort of similarly affected area over here to our yin and yang on the other side. And there's a nice trefoil. There we go. Look at that. Lovely. Lovely. This is not contamination. These spheres in these craters are not contamination. Don't know how to get that through to anyone who still is suffering under the illusion that it's contamination. It is not contamination. Oh, I saw this earlier when I was just taking some photos which of course will be shared uh, something very nice going on with this I wonder if you can work out what it is look at that it's lovely <laughs> you can see the same kind of thing going on in the echo fuel <laughs> So yes, yeah, so I have some uh, carbon tape stuck to the bottom of this and then it's put on a piece of white paper which allows me to shift it around without it being too horribly jerky. It's pretty jerky but it's not too horribly jerky. Now it's interesting you seeing these kind of fibers here and you know at first you do think they're contamination, but I think you'll see these fibers elsewhere. <clears throat> Let's put it like that. Again, having it on this table I mean, allows me to just push down with a little pressure and change the focal plane. Okay, it looks like there's a, a clear so-called sphere in that one. Just a joy, just a joy. Anyway, I'm going to drop this video out and then I'm going to try and get the before and after uh, EDS data out for the diamond 
nickel material. That's very clear there, so you can see that's a sphere, but it's clear. This is why they, they sometimes times evade you, because you can see the reflection. Um, and this really hit home when I looked at the sample under the SEM, because the SEM just, <laughs> the light, whatever, the, the photons coming back, um, were really showing the underside of the sphere, but the macro photography showed the spherical top. So these spheres aren't always opaque. And this is a good example of something which is not opaque. It's got its own little cavity there that it's living in. And here's a big one which is very similar. This is the one that I've just been talking about. And <clears throat> it is actually a sphere which is incredibly clear. Uh, and it has, even on the SEM, it doesn't appear to have any facets at all that are discernible, even at very high magnifications. It is just a sphere. <laughs> there we go. Lovely. So, yes, you, you may have seen the macro photo I shared of this before. And <clears throat> it definitely looks like a sphere. But here it's, you can see through, you can even see some spheroids underneath that are somewhere else in the material. I'll lift that up, I don't know if I can get any closer in. Like I say, this software could really do with being able to control the focus. It's good on the zoom and good on the brightness, but it just needs another slider to control the focus, focal point. That's where a, a bigger microscope, which had this kind of resolution, would be fantastic because they tend to have a focal ring where you can change the point of focus and get to very specific places. So I'm going to run quickly over to some of the other areas here, these kind of other areas where there are spheres and degradation and lines of degradation. This is a quite a bit easier sample to play with because it is actually flat. So, at least the surface that I'm looking at, not the one that's blooming out there on the side. It is flat, so it allows you to move around and with the camera and the lens in a fixed position. And there we go, that's back where we started. Oh, no, it's not. Maybe it's just a similar feature. I think it's just a similar feature. Just one of these kind of skipping stones type effects. Right. Uh, lovely. Look at that. <laughs> it's like it's it's skipped between grooves, like 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 a skipping. Uh, what would you say, like a, an old vinyl record, it's skipped between the grooves that play the music and then, uh, or have the music recorded in them as variations in the groove. And then when it's gone in a groove, it's kind of run along the groove. You can kind of imagine it doing that. Uh, yeah, lovely. And back to where we began. So thank you for your time.